Tennis players that you need to know about part two. This time we're going over to the women's side to introduce you to Kaya Kinepi from Estonia. Now, a former top 20 player in the world, currently in the top 30 as of her run to the City Open final where she lost to Russian tennis player Sam Samova. She has already won over... She has won over $7 million in prize money. She has also been top 10 players in the world on a prolific scale. Having 10 top 10 wins of her career, two of them being from this past year of being Sophia Kennan at the Australian Open, being Garbine Muguruza in the French Open, and just being an overall seed killer every time I see her in a Grand Slam draw. She's made the quarterfinal of every Grand Slam. Whether or not that is over a one-year period doesn't really matter. The say that you've reached a quarterfinal of all four Grand Slams really tells you how good she is on each surface and how much variety she has to her game. Now, being 37 years old, she is very limited to what she can do and how many tournaments she can put on her schedule. To be, But to be completely frank, she's used to this. She was a former number one player in the world in juniors. And being from a small country of Estonia, it's been quite incredible to see another player from that country, Annette Kontavit, do some of the things that Kaya Kanepi has made the way for. Whether or not she was Annette Kontavit's idol, that is yet to be determined. But the fact that she was able to pave a way for a country like Estonia in the women's tennis game to be able to beat players constantly and to even beat the only time and from an article of 2022, you can correct me if I'm wrong, the fact that she was the only player to beat the number one player in the world and to beat the number one seed of a Grand Slam in the open era, in the opening round. There's a reason why she's still on tour, and there's a reason why people still get scared when they see her in the first round of a Grand Slam draw. Because they know that she can beat them no matter what. She's a fantastic player, and I can't wait to see what she does next at this year's U.S. Open. Let me know what you guys think of her down in the comments below. If you are new to this channel, feel free to hit that subscribe button with notifications turned on, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks, guys.